Hello, fellow students of the class of 2022. I hope you're all having a great whatever time of day you're watching this at. While I am sure most of you know of me, I would first like to take the time to reintroduce myself. I am Massimo Di Girolamo, and in this year's class election, I will be running once more for the position of student representative. As student representative of this class, I would be responsible for collecting the student body's thoughts, ideas, and input on important events for the class. As an example, last year, I asked many students for their ideas for the dance theme. While we were unfortunately unable to execute the dance, the inputs of the student body would have been seen in the final product. If I were re-elected this year, I would continue to ask many of you for similar inputs. After all, the student representative is responsible to create a link between the student body and the class officers. I intend to uphold this connection to the best of my ability. Now, why should you vote for me? Well, to start off, I have plenty of worthwhile experience under my belt. As I stated before, I was elected into office last year thanks to the kind support from you all. I was present at most, if not all, of the discussions we held and was diligent in my work. But most importantly, I have knowledge of what is expected of me, both from you all and from fellow officers. This year, where the COVID-19 pandemic has already made so many things unstable, there, it is necessary to maintain a constant presence somewhere. I want to be that constant for you all. Re-electing me into office as student representative will ensure that there is someone in office who knows what they are doing. In addition to this, there are many brilliant ideas for events and sales the class officers created last year. Re-electing me will make sure that these ideas do not go to waste this year. Lastly, I would make a good representative due to my nature. I have stated earlier that the student representatives are supposed to act as a link between the students and officers. However, in order for this connection to work, the intermediary must be approachable. Many fellow students would agree that I am both approachable and kind. I personally know how nerve-wracking it can be to talk, some, talk to someone who isn't exactly your friend. This is why I want to promise you all that you can talk to me at any time. I want to support you all, so know that I am not going to be bitter or angered if you were to approach me. Feel free to contact me using my school email even. I know physical conversations are not exactly that safe this year. Overall, I am looking forward to this year. I have many ideas for this class and I hope that with your votes, I will be able to enact them. Either way, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. It has been a pleasure speaking to all of you and I wish you all the best this school year. Hello class of 2022. I'm Vicky Lambrucos and I'm running to be your upcoming student representative for the junior class. After a break last year, I've realized more and more how much I've missed working on the council and representing our student body. I'm ready to reclaim my position and once again offer the creativity and motivation that our class deserves, especially this year with concerns our class has never seen before regarding the circumstances and even our very first prom. I've heard the suggestions and I'm willing to fulfill my purpose to communicate with you all and stand for you and your ideas. I hope I can earn your support through this election and thank you all very much for your time. Hey everyone, if you don't know me already, my name is Avi Lowry and I'm running to be your class treasurer once again. I hope that you are all well and managing to get through this crazy time in our lives. No one knows how long this will go on for, but as your treasurer, I would like to work with you to plan out fun events for the near future. As treasurer, I promise to keep fair and accurate books. I promise to be honest and I promise to work closely with the president and other leaders of our class. I am so proud to be a Tanner and to be part of the Woburn Memorial High School class of 2022. So please, on election day, vote for me, Abby Lowry, as class treasurer. Thank you. Hi, I'm Caroline O'Brien and I'd love to be your treasurer this year. You may be wondering why should I be elected for treasurer? Well, I do well in math, allowing me to handle the finances of our class. I'm on the activities committee and have attended the meeting since freshman year and brought ideas for fundraising, dances, etc. I have some great ideas for fundraising and making this year the best we can. To start, we obviously had a rough end to our sophomore year. School suddenly closed, semi was canceled along with sports, clubs, and other fun activities we were all looking forward to. 
This year definitely is going to be different than what we are used to, but different isn't necessarily a bad thing. This gives us the opportunity to change things up and be creative. We can still make this school year a great one, and that's what I promise to do. I am creative and dedicated, and I already have some great ideas for this year. I have come up with new ideas that will help us raise money for this year and next year, including online sales, since we won't be able to sell things in the cafeteria during lunch. Something we could possibly do is make a website for our class with things that we are selling and send them through the mail. I look forward to hearing all of your ideas as well, and we will work together to decide what our fundraising money should be used for as we play out the year and prioritize. I'm sure many of you are concerned about how we will hold events this year. If later in the year we are still ma if later in the year we are still restricted, we could always do things virtually, but I will do my best to advocate for everyone and make this year fun. Besides fundraising and events, another thing I plan to do is get more people involved and bring our class together as a whole so we can get through this year together. I will work together with other officers and all of you and will do my best to make sure all of your ideas happen. Thank you for taking the time to watch my speech and for considering me as our class treasurer. If you vote for me, I promise we will have a good, positive school year with fun events to look forward to. I look forward to working with all of you and possibly being elected as treasurer this year. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nadine Tran and I'm running for my third year as secretary for the junior class of 2022. You elected me during our freshman and sophomore years, so I would like to say that none of this is new to me, but then I remember that instead of standing at the auditorium's podium in front of all of you, I am in my room recording this on my phone for probably the 100th time. So this school year is obviously like no other. I've been running indoor, outdoor, cross country, and most of you probably know me for that but I'm personally not able to do any of it this year and I'm instead working and focusing more into my junior year, which I believe will be beneficial to my role as a class officer as well. This is not what I planned for, but I adjusted my life accordingly and I could say the same for multiple things in my life that COVID-19 has affected. The school year is for sure one of them. I mean, nobody knows what's gonna happen. The school could go all remote. Um, the system is new to everyone and that's why I believe class officers are so important, even in a time in which we don't know if we are going to get any of the events that class officers usually plan. But if we do get anything, I know that I would want it to be as perfect as possible to make up for all things lost, such as our sophomore semi, which we were planning last year. I've been class secretary since freshman year, so I have great experience in this position, and I believe that I have the skill set that a class secretary needs because I've seen what they need, and that's great organization skills, time, etc. Um, especially taking into account my major roles and planning our class's important events in the past. None of us know how the school year is going to go, but I know that if you vote for me, the events we do have will be in good hands. Thank you for your time. Each vote counts, so don't forget to vote on October 16th. Hi everyone, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Olivia Harkins, and I'd love to be the next Vice President of the Class of 2022. I'd like to take the time to thank you all for watching my speech about why I could be a great Vice President, and if you vote for me, I could show that. I know our sophomore year ended abruptly, and we didn't get to have many things, including our semi. And although things aren't quite normal this year either, I promise I will take into account your concerns and ideas on the many issues and challenges we will face this year due to COVID. The Vice President works side by side with the student body and administration to ensure student events throughout the year are successful. As VP, I can promise this year will be memorable. I believe I can bring new ideas and perspectives, and I can assure you I will do my best to work with the President and other members even during difficult circumstances to make this year the best it can be. I promise to strive for positive change, such as full inclusion for all students, to listen to any opinions you may have, no matter who you are, and to support everyone in our class as a whole by working as a team. Before I go on, I would just like to say I am not one to make false promises. If it's not possible, it's not possible, and I will admit that. However, if it is possible, I will do everything I can to make it happen. What I'm certain I can promise is my time. 
My time to listen and be an advocate for our class as a whole and to put your needs first. In the end, it doesn't come down to experience or what you can or cannot do. It comes down to who has the drive, who has passion. I know I have that. I'm a very reliable and dependable person and you can count as me as VP. I am asking for your vote for vice president. Should you elect me, I will listen to your concerns and work hard for you. Thank you and remember, vote me for VP. Hi guys, so my name is Miriam and um, I'm asking for your vote as vice president for the class of 2022. Now, I know a lot of you probably wouldn't have expected me to run for vice president, but here we are. Due to COVID, I know that our class is going to miss out on many of the activities that we would normally have to look forward to. And for me, it's important that as a class, we'll still be able to enjoy and take part in events when we're able to. And it's essential that we start caring and putting in the work now because if we don't, then we're going to be screwed. So all the events that we hope to go to and plan and all the activities, those are all going to take serious care, planning, and significant fundraising. And I'm ready personally to put in the work. As vice president, I will definitely advocate for transparency within the class officers because by maintaining open lines of communication and keeping people informed, we'll be able to make student government more accessible. And this allows for everyone to be active and involved in the decision-making process. And um, I intend to improve this outreach by increasing um, the class of 2022's social media presence, which I believe will be helpful, and maybe starting something like an email newsletter. So overall, um, I think it's important that we come up with innovative solutions to barriers for fundraising and for planning for future events. And um, uh, we just need to find creative ways though that we can increase funds in order to have a successful prom and a successful school year and beyond that. So in closing, I do know that with great power comes great responsibility. So that is why you should vote Mayor Malsajoni for your vice president. Um, yeah, if you made it this far, thanks. Hi guys, my name is Ty Mana, and I'd like you to consider me to the next class president. First of all, I'd like to thank you for electing me as last year's vice president. You all took a chance on me by voting and that showed. However, I feel that it is my time to try a new position in office. Although we didn't get to finish out the sophomore year we planned, and this may not have been the junior year we all imagined, I would be nothing but honored to help get the school back on its feet for this coming school year. With me as president and the rest of the candidates in office, I strongly believe that we can help make the school run as smooth as possible. All I need is the help from you. If elected as your president, I will be a positive thinker and be willing to represent my fellow classmates in all areas of change for our benefit, just as I did last year as vice. I can assure you that I will work hard to ensure that everyone has felt like they've been heard, and even more so in this crazy, unpredictable time. And in spite of the fact that there are a few things I know are definite, there is one thing I can promise, and that is, if elected, I will listen to every concern, question, or demand, no matter the situation, and no matter how big or small. While this is a high school election, the title of president is still a great deal, and I do not wish to hold it just because, nor do I wish for you to vote for me just because. Movement High still has a long way to go, and I would be like the one. I would like to be the one who helps to better it. From the big events like school dances and fundraisers to the smaller yet equally important events that help to benefit our clubs. But the real question is, who will represent you to the fullest once you leave the school? And I could go on and on about whom the right answer is, but that would take all day. So the simple answer is me. I will. I'm in this for the long run, and I would love to be there every step of the way if you let me. Thank you. Hello, everyone. You're watching me here today decide who will lead the junior class of 2022 as well as the student council alongside the other members of our council as president. Now I believe, as I'm sure most of you will agree, that only the most fit for the role should lead us through this unprecedented time. I ask that all of you, please make the best decision as to who you want for not only the leader of all of our class activities, but our class in general. Possibly coming later in the year is the highly anticipated junior prom. Now of course, we would all love to have an amazing and joyous time, but without the proper funds, it may not be entirely possible for this to happen. 
I will work with my vice president and the rest of student council to come up with fundraising activities that will guarantee a well-funded prom if we are to have one. Now, if we are not to have said junior prom, the money will roll over and follow us into our senior year to cover senior activities and senior prom, and you can never have too much money. Now, I understand that we are halfway through high school and the responsibilities that were put on to us this year are way more than any other year. Now, I'm in the same boat as you guys. I go to school the same amount of time that you guys go to school, and so I understand what you go through every single day, but not everyone's in that situation. So I feel as if I have a more personal relationship with you guys. And so, of course, the hardest part will be figuring out the logistics of junior prom. But leave that to myself and the rest of the student council, and you will have nothing to worry about. And to all my classmates, a vote for Omar. Make sure we have a junior prom to enjoy and any other events in the future that we may bump into. To paraphrase the great Tay Moore, Trayvon McIntyre, I was trying to beat a case. I did the race. And this is indeed my race with you making the decision. Thank you, everyone. Hello, my name is Faith Frandudo, and I'm a junior here at Woburn Memorial High School, a part of the class of 2022. The roles of the Regional School Committee Representative and Woburn High School Council Representative are rules I view as being of utmost importance for a student to attain, which not only offers a student the opportunity to gain the experience of being in such a setting, but also the ability to represent and lead. In such settings, it only makes sense for a student to represent in a committee or council that discusses the welfare of the student body itself, which is yet another reason why it is such a privilege and honor to be assigned such a task. Choosing to run to be a committee or council representative is something I would have never thought of doing, as we often convince ourselves away from doing the things that we truly want to do based on the notion that it'll be left for somebody else to do. But it's through me believing that it can in fact be that person to step up is what motivates me to run for this position, for the more we experience, the more we have to offer others. As a representative, I will not only attend the monthly meetings and represent the student body, but I will also be sure to do it in a way that proves that it is not solely about holding the title of the position, but rather about setting out to make an impact and to do so in a way that causes others to join you as my interests should represent those of my fellow classmates. To have the opportunity to run for such a position for me is remarkable, but it is not as remarkable as the impact I would make if I were selected. Thank you for your time.